I'm back. Live from Force 13 HQ in Manchester, United Kingdom. It is time for your tropical weather bulletin. John, get off my set! Get lost! Here's your get tropical out of here. weather bulletin. Go! And out there in the world right now, there are no storms active as we enter June the 1st, 2019. Uh, there they are. There it Here's is. Your tropical Black map. Weather bulletin. I don't know if anyone watched it's the stream output in our team room, but you'll be pleased to see what you just saw. Uh, day one of hurricane season in the Atlantic. No storms are active, but that area of interest we're still watching over the Yucatan Peninsula. It's day 18 in the Eastern Pacific. The next name is Alvin. No storms are active, and 92E died. In the Indian Ocean, Invest 92A is continuing off towards the west over northern Somalia right now, just inland now the Horn of Africa, and no storms are active in the Southern Hemisphere. They'll be released on Force... Th the Southern Hemisphere animations will be released on Force 13 starting tonight. All right, well, that's that. Let's go back to the team. <laughs> All right. Hello. Um, <laughs> I don't think any of the team saw the intro to that. <laughs> I did. Oh, I, I did, did not. With John. I did. Yes. Yep. I saw him. John surprised you all again. Did yep. he say shut? Did you tell him to shut up? I did. Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. We're looking. All right, but now at it's satellite time imagery for your tropical weather <laughs> of this system in the Atlantic, which we've been discussing already. Um, we're just trying to sort things out over here because everything is completely messed yeah. up now. Uh, someone talk for a while. Uh, Thomas, why don't you tell us about Invest 92A? So Invest 92A is definitely an interesting system, uh, just to say the least. It's one of two invests that we have, really, the other one not officially invest, but we have two areas of interest at the moment, and both of them happen to be um, having explosive convection over land, which is quite the coincidence. It isn't the most common thing in either case, especially when you have something like this, which is looking quite tropical at this time, and looks like it could develop. Uh, the only issue for it's going to be, uh, it doesn't have much steering, it's virtually stationary. If it goes south, it dies, and if it goes north, it dies. Uh, but if it goes to the east here, uh, well then it's got a little bit more of a chance, and that's because of the uh, region we'll be heading into. The unfortunate thing is you're still going to be getting lots and lots of wind shear. You can see all these different clouds at different layers of the atmosphere moving in different directions. You can see lower level clouds moving west, and you can see upper level clouds moving north. That's indicative of some very strong shear. But it, it just really isn't in a very good environment for development. I mean, I understand that it is looking very good right now, and maybe even could uh, become tropical for a short period of time. But uh, after that, it's got it's got next to none chances of becoming anything significant, in Sad. my opinion. Uh, you know the you know the thing about it is, what if it's like five days later we see this become a Category Four cyclone about to hit Yemen? No. Uh, you know, I mean, it's that kind of thing that stop it that happens. Stop it. Oh, I understand it's a ridiculous prospect, but we've seen storms like this before in these awful conditions uh, manage to create their own atmosphere and do things like this. We've we've seen it before. So like I I know that uh, like uh, people have made uh, calls that seem very obvious and have gone completely the wrong way. I mean, just look at the United States recently with the high risk the SBC called for in every single way that looked like it was going to be huge and it didn't turn out too much. So, I mean, we can be wrong, but I'm not expecting this to develop. And we can yeah. also be wrong about the Atlantic system, but, I, well, let's actually talk about this. What do you guys really think about its chances of formation? It's looking good in those late frames this evening. Yeah, like, it, like it's changing my opinion a bit. Like, it really looks like it could actually form now. Like, uh, it, like we'll see, but there, there's, now, there's now a decent chance it could form. Um, I mean, it's not nothing guaranteed, but, um, I mean, it's blowing up a bit, so it could end up becoming very, we'll have to see, but it, it's getting a bit of power, and, like, the shear, like, it's starting to, you know, in a little bit, now, it could end up going to Louisiana, like, um, the European and, uh, Canadian, uh, models are saying, but only time will tell. 
just see land and hit. What the hell? Uh, yeah. So there Deepest it is. Of apologies. Um. So, anything? Any other comments on these two systems, or are we moving on already? Uh, I mean, my opinion remains the same as it did before for Barry. I think it's got a good shot. Not development. called Barry yet. Well, yes. well, for what could be Barry, I'd say it has no. a it has a fair chance of becoming Barry. Uh, and no, it, it doesn't. Yes, it does. I mean, the convection's been blowing up. If it maintains a more southerly track that doesn't interact that much with land, gets a smaller core, it has potential. The shear's going down, you can see in the latest frames. It's really starting to take advantage of the moisture in the gulf. It's looking better. Uh, I think it's 40 got a bona fide chance. I'd give it, yeah, 40%. Okay. Yeah, 40 Caesar temperatures are okay. But um, models tend to have a, a kind of a bad time Indicating where, to, where the the area of rotation is when storms are kind of over, uh, the you can here when they're not really that well defined. Um, but we'll see if I mean if it does develop a small core and can, can get away from those um, higher wind shear values and not really hug the coastline, it may become a weak tropical storm or depression. But uh, who mm -hmm. knows? We'll see. I mean, my forecast is almost virtually based on current observations. I'm using very little model data, as like you said. They tend to have inaccuracies on their land. I know that uh, that's that's a tendency with a lot of things, so that's something that uh, I tend to avoid, especially when we have just invests. So I don't even look at models for my probabilities of development right. the vast majority of the time these days. 